Okay guys, um, today I got a couple of things I wanted to open. Um, the first thing I want to open is, is something that I won on an auction, um, pristine auctions. They do a lot of um, you know, like memorabilia auctioning, they do like 10 minute auctions, daily, weekly, um, and they do like elite auctions. It's a lot of more like sports and stuff like that. They do have some celebrity autographs and stuff like that. Um, but I did win this for very cheap. Um, and I was pretty excited about it. So this, I just want to open up real quick. Uh, should I take it out of this bag? Maybe I should. All right, I'll, I'll take it out just so I can take a look at it. I feel like it's folded so neatly in there. And I kind of don't want to mess it up. Maybe I'll be able to close it back up the way that it was. So, I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty big Rangers fan, and this is Stefan Matteau signed jersey, number 32, and it's signed right there, Stefan Matteau, 32, 94 cup. 94 cup. I don't know if you could hear me because I was covering the microphone with the jersey, but it's got a authentication sticker there. It's not JSA, it's Leaf. Leaf Authentics. Um, so yeah, that actually came out pretty nice. I like it. This is... If you don't know Stefan Matteau, um, he was on the Rangers in 94 when they won the Stanley Cup. And he scored the game-winning goal in uh, Game 7 of the Conference Championship to send them to the Stanley Cup Finals. A pretty famous call, uh, chanting his name when they when he scored the goal. Matto swoops in to intercept. Matto behind the net. Swings it in front. He scores! Matto! 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 Stefan Matto! And the Rangers have one more hell to climb, baby! Jersey looks awesome. I don't know how the hell they had this folder in there, but this was a daily auction. And I mean it went pretty it went pretty cheap, I'll tell you that. They do these auctions every day. Uh, it's pristine. I'll put a link down there. I'll show you guys what it is. Um, they do a lot of sports things. If you're into that kind of thing and auctions and all that, they do have no reserve auctions. So that's what this was, which is nice for us because we, you know you could get some things at a pretty cheap price. Anyway, so the other thing that I wanted to open up was my Zobi. So Zobi had a daily special, double movie thing. It said it was um, Child's Play and Return of the Living Dead, which are both great movies. I don't know what Child's Play it's going to be from. It could be from the new one, from the old one, from a sequel. There's an 11 by, no, 11 by 14 in here and an 8 by 10. So I don't know which one's going to be the big one, which one's going to be the small one. Okay, so they're probably going to be... Field top loader here. They're probably both gonna be in, in this. So this was a daily special. I don't know, I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that, but it was a pretty good deal. I like both these franchises, so let's see what we got. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know which one's which, so I'll just do this one first. We'll see. What do we got? Okay, this is the 8x10. Oh, I think this is Ed Gale. Ed Gale, this is Chucky. So, Ed Gale is the actor who played uh, Chucky. Like, he actually, he's not the voice of Chucky, but he played the, in the costume. I think in, like, the first two, like, he was, I guess, what you would call the stunt guy, but he was, like, the actor who was in the costume when they did those shots that were, like, you know, in the first one or two. You could kind of tell when it was a person running around in a suit. But, um, yeah, he was that guy. So, that's a cool one. I like that. That's a cool picture. I like the picture too. All right, so then the 11 by 14 is gonna be Return of the Living Dead. Oh, nice. I was hoping it was gonna be this. 
This is Tar Man. Tar Man. That's really cool. It says Return of the Living Dead on it. Yeah, I was trying to think. I was like, wow, what do they call that guy? It was like Goo Man or whatever the hell. Yeah, Tar Man. That's a pretty cool one. I like that a lot. So it's actually got the Return of the Living Dead logo on it. And he signed, I like that it's in the same color. Um, it's in red, the signature, and it, it, he inscribed it, Tarman, right underneath. That looks pretty awesome. Either this or, I, I forget what the woman's name was that played like that punk chick who like gets naked and then is naked pretty much the whole movie for some reason. <laughs> but uh, I forget what her character's name was, but she's a cool one too to have. Those are both good ones. I didn't have either of these, so um, they're good additions to my collection, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hang these up right away though, because it's probably gonna scare the shit out of my kids, but, <laughs> but I'll figure out what to do with them. All right, that's really it. Take a look down below, uh, check out my Instagram, um, definitely check out the eBay store. I got a lot of stuff in there right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, just hit the like, hit the subscribe. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.